up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and I am happy to be giving you guys a lesson right now, which we can consider our absolute super beginner blues lesson, step one. So what I want to show you is the foundation chords of the blues that we then jump off on and play, you know, all these cool little blues things that you can do. But this is the foundation lesson. It's three chords. That's it. We're going to go over them. We'll zoom in. I'll show you the kind of structure you know, and uh, the chord shapes. And then that'll be a good starting point to go to the next video, which is where I would show you some more um, of that kind of boogie riffing styles, you know, fancy music names, all that. Uh, also, real quick, I appreciate you subscribing to this channel. Um, you know, all that support is greatly appreciated. You can leave a request in the comments below, like the video, and thank you for that. Uh, but enough of that, let's zoom in and uh, we'll start learning. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna learn the basics of, of a blues. Now this is gonna be blues in the key of E. And when you play the blues, especially like a beginning 12 bar blues, like what we're gonna do, there's three chords. There's the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. And you can actually stick your hand out and count up the alphabet to realize what the one, four, five is. So if E is our one, that's our one chord, E, then the four chord would just be four up with E as the one, right? So E, F, G, A. So A, I went four up, so A is the four chord. And then the five chord would just be one up from there and one letter up, so B. So E is the one, F, G, A is the four, and B is the five. And we play them all as what are called dominant chords or dominant seven chords. And, you know, eventually in the next video, we're going to learn blues like this. But that still is implying the chords that I'm going to show you in this video. So the one chord is an E7 chord. Hopefully you already know an E major chord, which would be second fret, second fret, first fret, but to make that an E7 chord, or the like bluesified version of an E, you take your ring finger off and you play the whole guitar, the whole, the whole shebang. So that is the E7 chord, also known as the one chord of blues in the key of E. Now we're gonna go to the four chord, which uh, if you remember, I said was A. So we're gonna learn an A7 chord. And if you know A major, which is second fret, second fret, second fret, if we take our middle finger off, that's the A7 chord. I play A7 knowing I'm gonna be playing A7. I play it with my middle finger on the second fret of the D and my ring finger on the second fret of the B. but you can play it either way. I like this fingering because it's comfortable to do some tricks that revolve around it, like the E blue scale, or the land of A7. And so there's a lot of reasons. So you got the E7's the one chord. The four chord is A7. And if you can play the A7 with the open A string as the first note, in other words, avoid the top E, it'll sound better. And then the final chord, the B7 chord, may be a new chord for you if you're a beginner, but you really need it for the blues. And it's uh, the middle finger on the second fret of the A, index on the first of the D, ring finger on the second of the G, and if that's hard for you, start with that shape, but then eventually we want to get our pinky on the second fret of the high E right there. And when you're learning a new chord, you can keep the shape and try and keep it as you take your hand off and then put it back on and make the adjustments you need and get the chord right and then do that again. And that'll help the muscle memory happen quicker. It'll help you get the chord down faster. 
So we have three chords. We have E7, and we have A7, and then we have B7. And those are the chords we need. There's going to be a thing in the blues called the turnaround that sounds like this. And that's a fun little thing that we can literally do with one finger. But let's go back to the beginning of this blues. Now it's called a 12 bar blues. When you hear me count one, two, three, four, that was one bar. So it's called the 12 bar blues because the whole sequence is 12 counts of four and then it starts over again. Then 12 counts of four, then it starts over again. Then 12 counts of four, et cetera, et cetera. They tell two friends and they tell two friends until you finally end it. The gosh darn guitar player finally finished soloing and the song's over, all right? So now let me walk you through those 12 bars of four counts. We're gonna start with that E7 chord one, two, three, four. So there's going to be one bar of E7. Then we go to the A7. One, two, three, four. So a bar of A7. Then back to the E7. One, two, three, four. And then another bar. One, two, three, four. And then we do that with the A7. Two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that was two bars, then back to E7. One, two, three, four. Another bar, one, two, three, four. Then B7, one, two, three, four, to A7, two, three, four, then the turnaround. again. One, two, three, four, A7, two, three, four. Back to E7 for two bars. Three, four, another bar. One, two, three. Now A7 for two bars. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now E7 for two bars. One, two, three, Four, one, two, three, four. B7 for one bar. One, two, three, four. A7 for one bar. One, two, three, four. And then the turnaround, which we haven't learned yet. And then a B7 again. So we really want to, you know, something I've noticed with a lot of lessons that I've uh, given over the ears is just that B7 takes takes a little little work, a little programming, but you, you will get it. And it, I think it's really good to keep that shape, take it off, keep it on. So something that you noticed is it's one bar of E7, one bar of A7, and then it doubles. Two bars of E7, two bars of A7, right? And then the um, when it finally gets to the B7, it's one bar and the A7 one bar, and then this thing called the turnaround. So let's play through that one more time, and I'll kind of talk us through it, and then I'm gonna teach you that turnaround, which we can literally do with one finger and a B7 chord. <laughs> Here we go, E7 starts on, and I'm gonna count us off. One, two, three, four, E7. One, two, three, four, A7. One, two, three, four, now double. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now A7. One, two, three, four again. A7, two, three, four. E7. One, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four. B7 for one bar. One, two, three, four, A7. One, two, three, four, then the turnaround. And 
then a B7, then the whole thing starts over again, and, and then that goes on and on like a cycle or a circle until you decide to end it. So now here's the turnaround. The turnaround starts with your index finger on the second fret of the A string, and the whole turnaround is the strumming or you know the picking down on the low E open and the A string as it moves up and down. So you do kind of want to aim for that top string there and let it dig in to the second string. So it starts with these two strings and the finger on the second fret of the A, and we go like this. One and, so from the B7. One and, so you do one and with that, then you slide your index finger up to the fifth fret. So one and, da, da, da. So fifth fret of the A, the open E with it, da, da, da. Then a half step down, so the fourth fret, da, da, da. Then another half step down, da, da, da. Then another half step down, da, da. Then the B7 chord. So here it is again. One and da, 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 da. So let me show you that turnaround again, nice and slow. So now what I want you to do is just, you know, practice along, try and keep up with me. And every time you're strumming an E7, I'm gonna play the boogie riff underneath it, the blues boogie underneath it. So if you're going, For that, I'm going A7 ring out, E7 ring out. See that? E7 ring out. And so we're gonna play together and then we'll do the turnaround both the same way. And just see if you can keep up with me. Feel the changes with those chords, practice switching them, see if you can do the turnaround with me. If you don't do the turnaround in time with me, see if you can catch up back at the E7 chord again. So now I'm really gonna you know, put the pressure on you to keep up with me. Here we go, start with that E7. I'm gonna play the boogie. And by the way, this boogie thing is what you're gonna learn in the next video. So one, two, E7, you play E7, A7. E7, E7, A7, A7, E7, E7. We play this together, B7 to A7, and then the turnaround. Back to the top, E7, A7, E7, E7, good job. Now 
B7. Turn around. Now see if you can do it without me saying a thing. Here we go. E. to B7 because we're going to end it. A7. We're going to do B7 again. And then end on the A7 with a hit. Turn around. B7 E. there was the lesson. Uh, thanks for spending some time with me. I really appreciate your support. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. And also, if there's a lesson you'd like to see, technique, anything, like this video and leave it in the comments below. Also, check for the link at the end of this video for the next lesson to learn after this. Thanks again for the support, and we'll see you real soon.